Hey, happy Sunday, everybody. Mark again here, Weatherman Plus. Now, I'm giving the latest update on what's going on, not only with these temperatures, what's going on with this winter storm. Plus, all this light blue, you can expect negative wind chills passing through. And this is going to last at least a week, guys. So, what you have over here in the upper Midwest is going to be the 60s. You're going to have the 50s a little bit below it, negative 40s. And then down here in the south, negative 25s and negative 30s. 30s. So this is what you're going to feel as this swings by. So if you've never been here before, make sure you subscribe. I'm all year long. I'm trying to reach 300,000 subscribers by 2025. Thank you so much for subscribing. Make sure you click the bell and get the latest information. I'm showing that all these impacts, all these latest winter storms down here in the south is going to go a little bit further, guys. If you watch it, you'll see not only the snowfall. Let me turn the alerts off so you can see. Not only the snowfall, but the freezing rain is going to drag into Alabama and northern Georgia a little bit more than what's with the advisories down here in the south. But as we look at the latest updates, you can see right here at top left is central time. But as we get towards this afternoon around 4 o'clock, it's going to start transitioning when we get that very cold air. And I got some temperatures to show you all. Start getting that freezing rain, then you get that heavy snowfall coming in through Clarksdale. Then as you go overnight, this is where the heavy accumulation is really going to start kicking in early in the morning for tomorrow as it goes through southern Arkansas, through Mississippi. Look at this heavy banding of freezing rain to snow for tomorrow morning, where everyone else is still getting, it's just a sliver, even a tenth of an inch is dangerous. In the south, I'm from the south, born and raised, and we don't have anything to clean this up. Now, you see how it stays mostly storms over here towards southern Louisiana as all the rest of that kind of comes to a little bit of freezing rain, even comes by Houston as well. Then it goes by Birmingham for tomorrow. Now, this is where it gets really heavy. For tomorrow, it starts shifting. It shifts towards the deep south, the northern half of the deep south. For Mississippi, Alabama, and straight towards northern Georgia as well. From Birmingham towards Calhoun, starts getting some really big banding. And then you can see as for tomorrow night, around 9 or 10 o'clock, it starts transitioning towards the western side of the Carolinas. But everyone else is going to be in that rain all the way into Atlanta. But look at this, how you see the freezing rain come from Jackson, and you're in that watch area. You're in that winter storm watch all the way till 6 a.m. on the 16th. Then it goes through Good Hope. I think it needs to lower down further into Birmingham for tomorrow. And then it transforms over towards Calhoun. Atlanta, maybe the northern, northern half will get some precip a little bit later overnight. And then for the northeast, you're not going to have no big nor'easter yet. There is a second piece of energy that's coming for you. This one is just going to give you a little slither of snow coming by. Not much. This just a little slither as you go overnight as well for you into the early morning hours. And it's just going to add up to a little bit. Got a second storm coming in, and that's the one that's going to bring you all a lot of snow. So let me show you the latest updates on the temperatures because... It's very disturbing. A lot of negative 50s, a lot of negative 60s, even towards the south, so you know what to expect, even single digits. So it's going to be pretty bad. Now let's get the latest information on the power outages because they are looking a lot better. Michigan is all the way down to 56,000. Wisconsin is all the way down to 47, but Oregon over 170, and you have over from Missouri 13. Now I'm over here in Milwaukee, and it has gotten better, but we still got 14,000 without power, and it was a lot worse. Now, National Weather Service did put this out for your winter storm warnings and your watches, also for your impact forecast. You can see where they're expecting the snowfall. You can see the chart up here, one through four inches, even a pocket of six right here for northern Mississippi, even as you go towards West Virginia, eastern Tennessee, eastern Kentucky. All that dark blue is around four inches. But you can also see down here for your ice forecast, at least a tenth of an inch in all this dark orange. Now, they also said there's going to be significant impacts for the Utah and Colorado Rockies 
Also a high avalanche danger for the Sierra Nevada as you go through the northern central Rockies. And the southern snow and ice for today and Monday. Areas of snow, sleet, and freezing rain develop and spread across portions of the southern plains through the Arklatex and into the Tennessee Valley today through Monday. Several inches of snow are likely. Accumulating ice is expected from portions of central and southern Texas through the lower Mississippi Valley into portions of the Tennessee Valley. With Arctic air continuing to filter south this week, impacts from wintry weather may last for several days, resulting in a prolonged period of hazardous travel. I do have all your temperatures that you can expect all week long, even your wind chills and your daily highs, so you know what to expect. Remember, timestamps are always in the description, so support to the channel and the video and watch it all the way through. I have some extra bonus clips for you at the end. But impacts, because you do have some drift and snow happening for the Rockies, but you also got some lake effect happening for Michigan, maybe a little bit of western New York as well, and a UP of Michigan. Now, I'm going to show you the differences. You can see with HRRR how it shows that southern snow going towards Tennessee and the Mid-Atlantic, getting heavier but going further towards the east. Now, you, when you look with the Ural, the Ural shows it heavier around southeastern Arkansas, northern Mississippi, and that's right where we have that warning for heavy snowfall I will show you. Also, you can see what National Weather Service it sees that dip, but it's not giving nobody that heavy snowfall, even up towards the northeast. You can see right along the coast, it's very light amounts. But look at that. And the National Weather Service model isn't showing it going too far into the DFW. You might see some novelty flakes, maybe a half an inch in northeastern Texas, northern Louisiana, but it really gets heavy for Arkansas, Mississippi, and beyond. This is going to bring that sleet, that little sliver of ice that's going to add up for southern Arkansas, northern Mississippi, northern Alabama, going into western North Carolina a little bit, and maybe a little further than that. It's not showing too much further, just 48 hours. And here's that pocket that National Weather Service showed where you get the best chance for the freezing rain. And this is where they're showing maybe a tenth to a fifteenth of an inch of freezing rain all the way to northern Louisiana, southern Arkansas, and getting more for northern Alabama. But even this little slither of freezing rain is going to be enough to cause problems because I'm from the south. I'm from New Orleans my whole life, born and raised. My last name is Grimion. Now this right here, this will shut down everything. We don't have any equipment, nothing. We don't have anything for this. You just shut down when something like this happens. So be careful over bridges, over overpasses, because with the winds, it will definitely be slippery and black ice. This is a worrisome part. Euro is a medium range model, but still it's not showing that little bit. It's showing where you got the chances for the snow. And that's a core of National Weather Service, but look at all this heavy freezing rain is picking up. Now this don't seem right by me because Euro is the only one that's seen it, but we cannot ignore it because it's the Euro. Showing a chance for a quarter inch or more. For northeastern Texas, even into DFW, northern Louisiana, southern Arkansas, into Mississippi. A quarter of an inch of, of ice, of freezing rain, is damaging. This is going to start bringing power outages right before you get this cold air. So I have some warnings put out for y'all. This is for northeastern Texas. You have a chance up to a half an inch of snow, likely northeast of the Metroplex. Plus, slippery road conditions, elevated roads and bridges will be most susceptible to the ice. And Fort Worth has put this out for your timing. So you're going to get some freezing drizzle widespread. Then you're going to start getting that sleet and that snow. And you're going to get that freezing rain for certain areas. Definitely down in Palestine. And you see the sleet and snow is going to hang around all the way from Monday as well. Then it's going to be gone as you go through a.m. on Monday. Early a.m. But still be hanging around from Paris DFW all the way down to Waco and Palestine. All the way to 9 o'clock Monday morning. Now, as it goes from Texas into northern Louisiana and Arkansas, areas in the pink along and north of I-30 may see combined accumulations of snow and sleet between 1 to 2 inches with locally heavier amounts possible. South of I-30 in the warning will be likely to get a combined of a tenth of an inch to a half an inch of ice and sleet accumulations. Be aware of that. Down here in the winter weather advisory, areas of purple may see accumulations of freezing rain up to a tenth of an inch, maybe two tenths of ice, and minor sleet, and maybe even light snow before it's all over. Plus, as it goes into northern Mississippi and to Tennessee, for your winter storm warning, you can expect accumulations of two to six inches from midnight all the way to 6 a.m. on Tuesday. Also in the winter storm, watches one to two inches of snowfall. 
and Little Rock has put out an update this morning over here for Arkansas. You have a big area to get some big banding going for four to five inches of snowfall. And you see this does go further than Arkansas. Don't just cut off. This is going to go into Tennessee a little bit, into Mississippi a little bit. And it is a little bit all over the place. So I want you to have the best chance of knowing what you're going to get. So I have this link in the description for you. You can zoom in and see exactly what your snowfall is expected. And not just by one weather model because it's not shown just by one. So you see it goes all the way over a lot of heavy snowfall. Let me show you the difference. This is what ACE R. It is high resolution radar. I mean, you go with the URL, it goes a little bit further to the south than what that does. And this is what your warning is for. Still showing Knoxville and all of them is going to get five inches. But this brings the heaviest towards southern Arkansas into Mississippi. Now when you go with that and go against the GFS, almost the same, a little bit further to north, still five inches for Knoxville. And the Icon, which is a five-day model, it shows it really getting heavy and getting towards 10 inches towards Knoxville, where it could start leaning towards maybe a foot widespread Heavy snow, look at that. And as you go towards northern Mississippi, northern Alabama, everyone else is getting a lot heavier snowfall than just where they're showing. But most of them are showing it's just going to be that one of three across the northeast. You can see this with the Euro as well, just one of three across northeast. So this link is in the description. You can go anywhere over here. You see for Denver, it's not really much difference neither. So you can click anywhere you want and see what your chances of your snowfall is. On the bottom right, you do have the Icon, the NAM, the Euro, H triple R and the GFS. So I did check and see what the ensemble said. So you can see over here for the South Central, this is your control member, your more than likely outcome. Showing all that gray, maybe an inch of snow and the heavier will start getting heavier towards Arkansas, Northern Mississippi and Tennessee. And you can see the ensembles for the Southeast. How it gets heavy as you go towards Northern Mississippi, Northern Alabama, towards Tennessee. It gets heavier guys. And you can see that little sliver of half an inch to an inch going further into Mississippi. And that is exactly what a control member of the Euro shows. You can also see from the Midland towards the northeast. And the control member showing it does get heavier as it goes towards Tennessee, Kentucky, West Virginia, Northern Virginia. And then lightens up greatly for the northeast. And when your control member is showing maybe a half an inch to an inch, not much. Now, when you look with a control member of the Euro, it is bringing that snowfall down a little further, and all that blue is maybe an inch, a little more snowfall. But you see that's a little further with a control member of the Euro. Now, over here in the northeast, it's showing that you're rocking a big nor'easter. There's another system coming in from Canada after this system, and I'm not showing that as completely accurate. I think it is going to tone down the accumulations. I will update you on that. That's past this storm. I'm trying to stay as accurate as possible. Because you can see up here, this is all the way from 16th through the 26th. So it's not just the one storm. And when you look at the ensembles according to the Euro, they don't have a control member. That's why I showed you the control just now. You can see the ensembles according to the Euro, the first 26th. Then as you go for the rest of the ensembles, all the way for the South Central. Showing about the same thing. It gets heavier as it goes through Arkansas, through northern Mississippi. You also see for the northeast that it's not showing a lot of ensembles bring y'all a lot of snow. You might get a sliver of that one inch. Otherwise, it could either miss or give you one inch. You can see it in all the ensembles. It's either going to miss or give you one inch. There's literally only a couple that shows more than that. So I'm going to update you on these temperatures, everybody, and help you get prepared for what's coming. Your highs for today, you can see with HRRR, this is your high temperatures, bringing the 20s down to the south, and you're feeling like single digits to negative temperatures in all this dark purple. The lighter purple, the pinkish, is a single digits, and it's going to start getting heavier. This wind chill is going to make it even worse. This is your high feels like temperature for today, all the way to negative 20s, the negative 30s, and beyond. Now for tomorrow morning, you can see where your freezing temperatures still come all the way down. That's why you get a chance still to get that snowfall in the south if it comes a little bit lower. Other than that, it will be fighting your daytime highs. And look at all the freezing temperatures over here. Negative 20s and negative 30s. This is your morning lows. No wind chills. Your wind chills is going to be way worse. For tomorrow, you're going to feel like negative 40s and negative 50s across the upper midwest and it's going to feel like negative 20s almost negative 30s where i am single digits to teen temperatures and feels like single digits all the way towards the south plus your highs for tomorrow this is going to be your highs 
for tomorrow. You're still going to be frozen in the south, single digits across the Corn Belt, and you're going to be all negative temperatures across the upper Midwest and the north central. And with your wind chills, this is your highs for a Monday, guys. Feeling like you're negative 20s, negative 30s. This is going to last for a few days. As you wake up on Tuesday, it's going to come down again with the freezing temperatures, the negative temperatures, the wind chills, making it even worse. I've always showed Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday was the worst days. Now you're really going to feel like single digits towards the south, Tennessee, Kentucky Valley. A lot of people feel like negative 30s to negative 40s and your highs for Tuesday. Starts raising up a little bit more, but still low enough to bring you the freezing temperatures and the single digits and negative temperatures. And you still got the wind chills. The wind chills is going to be the biggest part of this Arctic blast, guys. And you still got, like you're going to feel frozen for Tuesday for your highs in the south. Still like you're going to feel negative 10s, negative 20s for the upper Midwest. Ohio Valley starts shifting a little bit further to the east as you go through Tuesday. And on Wednesday morning, you're going to wake up frozen again this is going to hang around all the way until next monday or next wednesday guys wind chills wednesday morning feels all the way towards the southeast now even northern florida feeling like you're in the teens to the 20s shifting that negative 10 negative 15 degrees all the way towards the east now east coast is feeling this on wednesday and as you go through your highs on wednesday this is where it starts warming back up but even with your wind chills you're still going to feel somewhat cooler in the south where everyone still feels at negative temperatures. Now, this is going to dip back in again. This is Friday morning, coming right back down again, and with your wind chills. This is going to be around for about a week to nine days. Now, before I go today, because I'm going to be really busy today, I don't think I'm going to have time to do an update. We will see, guys. I'm, I'm not 100% sure yet. John 5, from 19 through 24. And this is Jesus speaking. Then answered Jesus and said unto them, Verily, verily, I say unto you, The Son can do nothing of himself, but what he seeth the Father do. For what things soever he doeth, these also doeth the Son likewise. For the Father loveth the Son, and showeth him all things that himself doeth. And he will showeth him greater works than these, that ye may be marvel. For as the Father raiseth up the dead, and quicken them, even so the Son quicken who he will. For the Father judgeth no man, but hath committed all judgment unto the Son, that all men should honor the Son, even as they honor the Father. He that honoreth not the Son, honoreth not the Father which hath sent him. Verily, verily, I say unto you, He that heareth my word, and believeth on him, that sent me have everlasting life and shall not come into condemnation, but is passed from death into life. Amen. Have a great day, everybody. I really feel for all you out there that still has power outages with all this cold air coming in. I wish the best for you. If it don't come back on time and you see this message, put a tent in your living room, put blankets over the top of your tent. I suggested this also to people in Texas when y'all had that big freeze. But you put that tent in there with a the blanket over it, it'll keep you warm. Put it in one room of the house and y'all cuddle in there until you get power back on. It will keep you warm and keep you safe. Above all things, remember all glory always goes to God, our Father in heaven, Yahweh. And I hope he always keeps you safe and fully restores you, you and your family. And forever. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> Amen. Have a great day, everyone. I might see you this afternoon. Stuck and can't get up from the snow angel. <laughs> Come on, I want to see it. Let's go. You gotta get up. I, I'm not gonna help you. 
<laughs> Let's go. You don't want to chose to go on the driveway downhill. So <laughs> let's see your snow angel. Ha ha ha!